Hello friends. In today's episode, let's look into 10 best uses of vinegar in your garden. Can it be used as a fertilizer in gardening? Let's check it out. Vinegar is chemically called acetic acid. It is an inexpensive product easily available worldwide. It's used in kitchens generally in a concentration of about 5%. By saying vinegar, we refer to 5% white vinegar or the distilled white vinegar. Well, can it be used as a fertilizer for plants? The answer is both yes as well as no. Let me explain. No, that is, it cannot be directly used as a fertilizer because it's chemically made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. That's its chemical formula is CH3, COOH and the plants can easily get these elements from air. And S, it can be used indirectly as a fertilizer using a simple trick to help your plant growth and treat acute deficiencies. We'll discuss and demonstrate this in this episode. Please watch it till the end. Now. Let's look into the 10 powerful uses of vinegar for your plants and garden. On number 1. Soil pH Amendment Acid loving plants like hydrangeas, gardenias, rose, hibiscus and many others need an acidic soil pH of around 6 or even less. First, test your soil pH. This simple pH testing gadget is really handy and an inexpensive device to test your soil pH. If your soil tests neutral or alkaline, then you need to amend your soil pH. To do this, mix 1 tablespoon of white vinegar to 1 liter of water and water your acid loving plants with this solution once every 15 days to reduce the soil pH. On number 2, as a pesticide or insect spray, vinegar is an effective solution for eliminating unwanted garden insects and even pests. To make this vinegar spray, Add 1 cup white vinegar to 1 liter of water and load it in a spray bottle and then add some 10 drops of dishwashing or hand wash liquid soap. Shake the spray bottle well to mix the contents thoroughly before spraying on the plants. This is a reasonable remedy to control pests like white flies and mealybugs, especially for those who do not have neem oil. On number 3, treatment of powdery mildew fungus. To make this spray, add 1 cup of white vinegar to 1 liter of water and shake it well and then spray it on the affected leaves to treat the fungus. On number 4, Animal and Rodent Repeller Yes, the pungent smell of vinegar can drive away some animals like cats, dogs, squirrels, rodents and many other animals. How to use vinegar for this purpose? Well, the simplest method is to soak a cloth in vinegar and place it in those potential spots or entrances of these animals into your garden. But the problem here is the pungent smell fades away within a few hours and you might have to do it daily to prevent the animals. Another method to do this is using food grade diatomaceous earth powder that is DE powder in short. Mix some peppermint or lemon oil along with some vinegar in DE powder and keep it in small containers or caps in your garden. This DE powder has the ability to retain this odor for a longer time. You can watch a detailed episode on the DE powder from a link in the description below. Well, on number 5, to control slugs and snails who eat away a lot of your garden. To kill slugs and snails, spray the vinegar directly on the snails and wait for some time. The vinegar will dissolve the snails. Though this looks a bit cruel, but if you want to save your food grown out of your hard work, you need to control these creatures. On number 6, Ant Control. Vinegar can be used to drive away ants from your garden. Just pour undiluted solution around the ant hills or around the plants. I mean around the potted plants and not into the soil or near the roots of the plants. On number 7, Weed Killer. Just spray undiluted white vinegar on the unwanted weeds or the unwanted grass in your garden. This works very well especially in cracks and crevices. But you have to be very careful when applying close to your favorite plants. The mechanism of action involved is it dissolves the cell membranes resulting in desiccation of tissues and death of the plant. On number 8, 
drive away fruit flies from your plants. You need to make a vinegar bait with a cup of water and half a cup of vinegar, one fourth cup of sugar and one teaspoon of honey. Mix it all together and put the solution in an empty container or a tin or a can and can hang it on the affected fruit tree. You can see how it attracts and traps the fruit flies. This solution can even be used for housefly control in your home or garden. Then on number 9, cleaning your garden stuff. It can be used to clean rusty and dirty garden tools. Pour or dip the tool in vinegar for about 20 minutes and then rinse. You can also clean your pots and containers with vinegar. Just immerse the pots and containers in a vinegar solution like 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 3 dilution in water and then clean after 20 to 30 minutes. On number 10, to provide free or soluble calcium to your plants, particularly in acute deficiency of calcium which causes blossom and rot disease, especially in tomato and pepper plants. Adding eggshells, lime, gypsum or even calcium tablets to treat acute deficiency of calcium will not help. You need to provide free soluble calcium that can be easily absorbed by the roots. To make this, you can take a source of calcium like lime or even powdered eggshells and then add vinegar to this and then shake well for an hour and then add more water to this. Water this solution to your plants and give them instant source of free calcium for absorption. Please like, share and comment below with your queries and feedback. Consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening!